You know there are those who want to destroy the entertainment that you love. And if all you do is stand by, well, this problem you've become a part of. And here we go. <laughs> Is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> What's up guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Glad you stopped by. And if you're brand new, welcome. Grab a seat and stay a while. But do me a couple favors first. Go down and hit that subscribe button. Go next door. Ring that bell. Make sure it says all so you know when the next video pops up. Hit that like button. And before you head out, drop a comment. And if you're one of the regulars here, welcome back for another round. As you also hit that like button. And before you leave, drop a comment because YouTube does love the comments. And of course, share the video out on all social media. Okay, fundraiser. We got one week left. That's right, one week left to get that Joker Voice merch for that special someone just in time for Christmas. Link will be down below in the description. Again, all proceeds go to benefit the Stuttering Foundation of America. The one last thing. Uh, notice some subscribers may have been dropping off. YouTube does t tend to purge every now, now and then. So real quickly... Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have that bell rung so you get noticed. And if you're going to if you're going to subscribe, watch a video all the way through. That locks in your subscription. Cool? Cool. Okay. Now, as you can tell by the thumbnail, we're not talking about Doc, Doctor Who. And I did say that we would spend spend the month talking about some of my favorite Doctor Who episodes. Well, it turns out I got some stuff to say this week. So next week, we should be able to wrap up with some of my favorite Christmas doc Doctor Who. Now, let's get to what I really want to talk about. <laughs> now, Vladimir Lenin used a term that Coined, coined a term called useful idiots, uh, which is a person that is easy to persuade to say, do, or believe things that help a group or person politically. Now, this is not a political ch channel. We deal with the insanity that is ho Hollywood. Uh, the, but the insanity, make no mistake, is political by design. And for more information about who is really involved in this and how high up this really goes, I encourage you to check out my friend Samael the Infamous. He covers this stuff in a lot more detail than me. Link to his channel will be down below in the description as well. So this political ideology comes in corporate speak under two, two terms, DEI, which is diversity, equity, and inclusion, and ESG, Environment, Society, Governance. In the common vernacular, it's known as woke. Now, not every useful idiot is necessarily woke. Those in the access media, whether in print or right here on YouTube, definitely that they are. Um, actors, directors, writers, especially if they want to keep working also, also subscribe to this ideology as well. Um, these are examples of useful idiots, willing pawns who are just looking to spread the message. But the more insidious and where it's affected the most is within the masses. Those who will deny this stuff's 
existence, and who would believe the lies of the apologists, the shills. Uh, and if that is you, guess what? You're a useful idiot, and you're part of the problem. Now, no one uses useful idiots more than Disney. Allow me to, to explain. Two big examples. We're going to go with Star Wars, first off. And the sequels, universally despised. Okay? I think we all understand that. All of a sudden, The Mandalorian is going to save Star Wars until Boba Fett ruined the finale of Season 2. Maybe if we get a more adult, mature tone in Star Wars. Andor, that's going to save Star Wars until nobody watched it. Dave Filoni will save a Star Wars with Ahsoka. Again, until nobody watched it. Now, I'm hearing that Mando Season 4 may become Dave's Mandalorian Mandoverse film. Well, now Star Wars is saved. If you think otherwise, you're an ist, you're a phobe, you're just a hater. But with a mantra like the force is fem female, if you criticize anything of this, well, then you clearly hate women as well. And the lack of viewership, box office returns, got labeled Star Wars fatigue. Hmm. And if you think that Dave Filoni is going to save Star Wars with this new promotion where he's working directly across the table from Kathleen Kennedy, guess what? You're a useful idiot. You're part of the problem. Stop being stupid. Another one. Marvel Studios. Infinity Sa Saga. Credited as the biggest cinematic IP of all time. No question. Not for me. Done. Amazing. But then we get the Kevin Feige 2018 Screen Rant interview, which laid the foundation of what was to come. 2021 uh, with Black the Widow started this trend of cinematic underperformance after underperformance after underperformance. Flop upon flop upon flop upon flop. A host of Disney Plus shows with little to no viewership. We started to see a trend of gender swapping. For a few examples, Marvel, the Taskmaster, Darben, the Scarlet Scarab. We get bait and switch stories, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Meh, and Hawkeye, for examples. We get the introduction of these failed characters America Chavez, Riri Williams slash Ironheart, Kate Bishop, Cassie Lang slash Stature, Kamala Khan slash Miss Marvel. Might I add, all female. But don't call everything post-Endgame the MCU. Because you clearly hate strong female characters. Or it causes thin-skinned YouTubers to run away and hide. This poor performance has now been labeled superhero fatigue. Do you see a pattern? If not, you're a useful idiot. You're part of the problem. Wake up and stop being stupid. Final thoughts is some of you know that this stuff is go going on, but refuse to speak up and say nothing. Some of you are just afraid to admit that these favorite IPs you love have been taken o o over and you're going to like them no matter what. Just slap that label on. And it's great. You're a useful idiot. Stop it. Resist this type of garbage that Hollywood and these big studios are throwing out at you. 
It's the only way to save, or in some case, salvage, what's left of quality entertainment. Stop being part of the problem. But again, these are just my thoughts. I'm going to turn it back over to you. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts down below in the comments. Check me out tomorrow night. Roman of the Empire. Talk, speaking of Disney. Giving a bit of a eulogy for what once was one of the greatest television series of all time. Doctor Who put a final bow on that thing. And then Friday, check me out on Legion Talk for Friday night's Royal Rumble. Yeah. Thanks again for stopping Stopping by, folks. Been a great time talk, talking to you guys. Quick reminder before you head out the door, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hey, thanks for sticking around this long. I appreciate that. Have a great rest of your week, folks. I will see you all very soon. And always have fun. Hashtag keep talking. And always keep that smile on your face. <laughs> Toodles. I say you better